this is short hammer it is the first of january 2020 and we are taking a look at amazon now amazon has been in breakout formation for the last few days we've had a a minor pullback and if we look at the chart let's go all the way back and this is going to be quick uh 2018 when we had that break and that pullback if you uh, look at this, when we hold above the 1840s, it's a good chance that the uh, breakout will continue. And this was the first touch and break into the 2000s here. And you see the initial push, pull back, right around that, uh, where are we? Here is that 1845 area. We had a pullback held above, we kept on going. The next run up, Right around this 1845 area, we had a back test, kept on going. As long as we hold above this, we're okay. And this breakout here, which I think uh, favors this recent one also, we had a strong push up, pull back right around the 1840s, and continuation up. Now, this time, when we had this sell-off, um, what we have to remember, this was from the uh, July earnings, and what we have to remember is that we went sideways for quite some time, and we were stuck between the 1747 and 1833 area. That was a channel. And so what we, what we want to see is a break of that channel, which we did do, and we took off to the upside much faster than I think anyone expected. And this sell and this back test of the channel is natural. That's actually um, a very strong sign. And that we push back up above the 1840 area is an even better sign. So my expectation on Amazon, let's, uh, let's zoom this in. My expectation of Amazon is that we're gonna squeeze and get up into the 1900s headed into earnings, maybe even higher and that we may retest the 2000s. So I'll be watching Amazon for a push up into the 1950s. We'll see if we get that or not. But I do think this was a great dip by opportunity when we back test to the top of the channel in the 1830s. And we'll see where we go from here. Now, if we break below the 1830s, I'll be exiting any long positions because that will change the structure and the setup. We need to hold above this channel, which we've done. Now we need the buying pressure to come in and for us to squeeze the upside. Amazon has no reason to not go up, whether it be at holiday sales or I believe someone mentioned they were doing a, uh, a sale, I uh, think today and yesterday for prime members only. So they're pushing the envelope and they've done a lot as far as increasing their ability to deliver themselves and building out their supply chain. So I am definitely liking Amazon for a run into earnings, and we'll see how that plays out. But for me, as long as we close days above the top of this channel, and as long as the buyers do step in and give us a run back up into the 1900s, I'm very bullish on Amazon. So we held this back test here, and now we just want to look for the, the buyers to step in. If we go below this, then... I will um, no longer be bullish and I'll probably be fading this a little bit back to the downside. But as long as we stay above here, I am bullish and looking for more upside on, on Amazon.